Hi, I'm Amy and I make things. And today, I'm making it my mission to sprinkle a little joy into your day because we can all use a pick-me-up. Hang around, let's see how it goes. In the vast sea of YouTube where it's usually about the latest products and the buying frenzy, my friend Hannah Louise Poston has a refreshing series entitled, What's Cheering Me Up Right Now? It's not about stuff. It's about the small joys that surround us every day, the little joys that don't come with a price tag. Inspired by Hannah and with her blessing, check her out down below. I'm gonna bring to you nine things that are making me happy right now. Speaking of YouTube, diving into this world is a roller coaster ride. There is so much to learn. Filming, editing, framing, scripting. There's so much to learn and the learning curve is steep. But I am enjoying it so much. I'm learning new things and it's challenging me in ways I didn't expect, but I'm really excited about. Number eight, you guys get a sneaky peek. Quilting update, Braves quilt number two. It's completed. The quilting's completed. Minky backing and all. Number three is loaded on the long arm and ready to rock and roll. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to knock it out. If you don't know about the Braves quilts and the quilts for the kids, I'll put a link to the intro video down below. Number seven is planning. I know. I know. But I love it. I love a list. I like knowing where I'm going. I like sketching out ideas and writing things down so I don't have to hold it all in my head. And lately I've been planning for not just the next video, but for some bigger projects as well. For Vlogmas, you guys talked me into it. And for 2024, I'm sketching out some ideas for that and some big challenges and some big projects. And I'm really, really excited about it. The next thing that's cheering me up right now, number six, I got to give a shout out to my Austin Area Quilt Guild for throwing down a UFO challenge. They give us till the March meeting, but I'm taking a bolder initiative and a bigger challenge and using this project to clear the decks by the end of the year. I've got some things that have been lingering for a while and I just need them out of the queue. So I'm going to get those done. Also, guys, a shout out to Michelle over at The Simple Quilter. She just posted her October UFO updates and it's adorable. Go watch her video. It's, it's linked down below. It's got a really cute surprise. Number five on the countdown of things that are cheering me up. Texas, you tried to kill me this summer. And while it's still hot, I mean, it's 94 today. It is dropping down into the 70s in the evening. And I'm just really, really glad it's not like 105, 107, 113 every single day. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not hating on you, Texas. I'm not hating on you because I really do enjoy being able to get in the pool in October. But I mean, this summer was crazy and I'm really, really happy that we're out of that. Number four, hand quilting and movies. I told you in the last update, it's linked below if you haven't seen it, that I might have to resort to trash TV to get this project done, but I'm not. I'm not, I haven't done it yet, and I think I, 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 think I can make it. Instead, I've been watching rom-coms and happy movies, charming things, things my mom loved, so there are all these cozy feelings and nostalgia stitched into the quilt. And to me, that seems a little, a little better than binding up a bunch of trash TV in the project. I'm going to need some more movies. So you guys let me know what your favorite cozy, nostalgic, charming, happy movies are. I'm going to make a list. Now, let's talk books. And you'll have to indulge me just a little bit because I know these are things. This is stuff. But two of them were gifts and one of them has been on my shelf for years. In fact, I'm reading it for the third or fourth time right now. The first one is Rick Rubin's The Creative Act. 
I'm only 30 pages in and so far I am smitten. It's just, well, let me, let me read. Let me read my favorite line so far. What you make doesn't have to be witnessed, recorded, sold, or encased in glass for it to be a work of art. Guys, if that doesn't sum up how I feel about quilting as an art form, I'm really excited to dig into this. Mockingbird Songs is a recommendation from my friend Angela, and it's letters. It's letters with Harper Lee, back and forth, a friendship. And as a Southern girl, as a Georgia girl at heart, I'm really, really excited to dig into that. And then there's The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. This book, guys, it's a little hard to find sometimes, but I'll try to link one down below. This book, I've read it, this is the third, my third time through. And it's new every time. And it, the basic concept is that small actions compound over time. And that's really the key to it all. That's, it's mind shaking when a task feels insurmountable to know that small acts compound over time. I also talked in the update about the busy work, about motion versus action, and it giving my brain a space to rest and for me to process and think. It's still doing that. You guys, look, I'm trimming these little teeny tiny. These are one and a half inch half square triangles. And I'm trimming them with this teeny tiny little block lock ruler. And it's like a dance in my brain and it opens up creative space. The rhythm of cutting, turning, cutting, turning, cutting, turning. It, it's very meditative. Next up, my, my scraps are behind you there. They're out of control. They'll be my next busy work project. The number one thing cheering me up right now, and I save the best for last, it's you guys. It's chatting with you guys in the comments on other YouTubers live streams. I love seeing your names pop up and knowing you and getting to know you. It's the virtual hangout that keeps me going. You guys are the real motivation. I'm having the best time being part of a community. It's been a long time since I was part of a community that loved quilting, that loved to talk about quilting and life and Thank you. So there you have it. Nine things that are lifting my spirits right now, making me happy. And they didn't cost a penny. Huge thanks to Hannah for the inspiration and to you guys for hanging out. Before you click away, leave me a comment. Tell me what's lifting your spirits right now. What's making your heart skip a beat? Is it a new product that you've gotten? Is it happy mail? Is it a connection with a friend? Let me know. I love when we inspire each other. Like, share, subscribe, click all the little buttons, you know the drill. And never forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy, and I'll see you next time.